On today's episode of Moto Cheese. So what's up guys? Apparently a lot of people have that same issue with the broken motor mount bolt. Most of the time these have three motor mounts and that's missing that one. That spot there. So I looked it over. I was thinking about running something from the head to the frame. When I had this up on the stand, there was some bolts in the bottom of the motor. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to raise the front end of this up and see if I can bolt a plate on the bottom and go back to the frame. So it'll do the bottom, this, and that. It'll give you three points. So hopefully that extra point will help. Somebody come get her. She's acting like a stripper. So my thoughts to go off of these motor mounts back to this because then this will be supported here too. And it already has threaded holes, so I just get either two bars or a plate and weld it to this. But the Grom does have three motor mounts, and this only has two. Think it'll work? The kickstand's there. I'm wondering if I should do a plate, weld it to that. Oh, it must be threaded on each end here. I can either do a plate or two separate bars just across the front if I can get all it is. That's plenty wide. Grab me a tape measure. I'll go from here to there. And it's probably going to touch the top of the bar and then I'll just fill that in. That's not going to go anywhere. So we need something that's going to be three inches by four and a half. Three by four and a half. I wonder why they didn't do that from the beginning. A little extra work. That'll work pretty good though. Beep. See how nice? Nice and straight. Yeah, yeah. See I gotta line up is a tip width of where it's gonna cut. Yeah. I think my tip might be getting a little worn. That's what she said. It's a little crooked. Yeah, see my, these get worn out after a while. I have more, but it's not that bad. It's gonna go. I guess I might need that marker. When I ground it, it polishes so much. I think my blade is dull. <laughs> I get full use out of this blade, you know. Like that. Boom. What's the easiest way to mark this, you think? I can see the center this way. So it's like... That's kind of an easy one, but right there, and right there. I mean, you can make the hole bigger and just put like a washer, right? Yeah, but if you want it as tight as possible. Hold the thread next to it. That'll be perfect. And they thread in there, good. All right, and I know these are tempered. There. That's the one. If we got it right. Holy shit! Wow. <laughs> All right. Man, that is perfect. 
Nice. Well, we gotta take it off and I gotta get the Dremel so I can clean this up and then we'll weld it. So there it is before it's welded. That should definitely take a lot of stress. The chain stress, the vibration stress, that should definitely work. After I made this plate, I was looking back, and it looks like if you go from these rear holes on the frame, you can actually make a mount that you don't have to weld to the actual frame itself. Go from the bottom of the motor back to one of these motor mounts. I wonder if someone makes up a bracket like this already. We get it welded on. That should hopefully stop the motor mount breaking, which I mine only did once, but I've had a lot of comments that there's break a lot. So this should fix it. A few moments later. Well, I don't think that's going anywhere now. I got a nice stitch bead in there. I think we're good. It's going to be flooded because it was up in the air. Definitely less vibration. Oh, did you see the handlebars? Yeah. That was close. Who the hell tightened them up? Woody Woodpecker. This thing is literally a billy goat. I can't believe what I just went through. I mean, it was mud, bad mud. Did good though. Surprisingly well. And went right through it. I'm all the way at the tip tip top of my property. Where's that woodpecker? Let's see if I can get him. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.